Moringa, the miracle plant. Step two, cutting moringa leaves from the tree. Cutting the moringa branches should be done early in the morning. The midday sun could ruin some vitamins and benefits of the leaves, so please remember not to cut them when the sun is strong. So the morning time is the best time to cut them. Always cut the freshest and the greenest looking leaves. This means cut the end of the branches, not the yellow and dried ones. Isa too has done a good job and now she returns with a nice bucket load of moringa leaves. Step 3. Washing and peeling moringa branches. First you need to wash the leaves with water to remove all the dust and any insects. Please repeat this two times. The leaves need to be clean. Then strip off the leaves and remove all the branches. We do this so that we can speed up the drying process, which is the next step. Step four, drying the moringa leaves. You can dry them in a solar dryer. They will dry very fast this way. The air will remove all the moisture. But there is an easy way to do it at home if you don't happen to have a solar dryer. Choose a dark room with a flat surface. Clean and dark, free from dust and dirt and insects. Most importantly, make sure there is no moisture in the room. In the rainy season, drying the leaves will be very slow or even impossible. The drying rack in the solar dryer has a net so the air flows beneath the leaves. You can also use a woven flat surface for this, such as a bed. Finally, it needs to be dark. You can cover the windows up. Sunlight must not get to the leaves. Please don't forget to cover the leaves as well with a piece of cloth or some material. Step five, pounding. The leaves will take two days to dry out. You'll know when the leaves are dry enough when they crumble in between your fingers. You need to strain the powder to make it even finer. This is the way to obtain a fine moringa powder. Step six, measuring the moringa powder. Now we need to measure the moringa powder we have. Please do this very carefully. We don't want to drop or lose any of the moringa powder as we want to sell all of it. Moringa oil. The first thing you need to do is to start removing the outer shell of the seed by pounding them carefully. From there, you winnow it. You only need to keep the healthy looking seeds. Please steam the seeds in order to easily extract the oil within them. In order to do this, you'll need a small oil press. You will also need a candle to heat up the machine and the seeds so that the oil starts to flow. You need strong arms in this process, so put a lot of effort in. You will have big muscles once you have finished this step. The excess that comes out of this process is called the Moringa cake, which you can see squeezing out on the left of the machine. Moringa cake can actually be eaten and it can also be used in some beauty products. The oil, which is what we want, drips out into the jar we have placed under the press. The 
final step will be to filter this oil. You can buy filters in the supermarkets. Fill up small 30 milliliter jars with the oil. The value of one small jar is worth a lot of money, the equivalent of 30 capsules. This is precious stuff. After you have filtered it, you will have your 100% pure Moringa oil. As we said before, the Moringa oil is fantastic for your skin and can reduce wrinkles and stress lines on the face.